from the people for the maintenance of the state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, they were also permitted to collect more than that. They were allowed to keep the proceeds. Uh, so it's no wonder that when he would describe Zacchaeus, uh, he would describe him as being a rich man. He was procuring more money, extracting a whole lot of extra off the backs of the people. There's an agency today. Mm. Uh, that has a similar reputation amongst us. Mm. We don't want to hear from them unless it's a tax return or a refund. Yes, yes. You can say, miss me. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Pastor, talk heavy. I mean, it just makes you a little uneasy if you get something my Lord, my Lord. in the mail that is uh, addressed from them. Um, this is the IRS. Yes. Mm. And lo and behold, they done went and messed around and uh, ordered and hired another 80,000 or so, is it? I mean, that just didn't set easy with most folk. Mm. Uh, because my brothers and sisters, uh, we don't want to hear them coming our way. Mm. Tax collectors. Um, I know they got a job to do, uh, but whenever they come a knock, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they can be dead wrong. Mm -hmm. But they want you to prove yes. that they're wrong. I mean, even in America, I mean, you're innocent until proven guilty, right. mm -hmm. but not with the IRS. Talk heavy, Pastor. They just send you a bill and expect you to pay it, and then if you say you don't know it, you gotta dig through files, come up with receipts and check stubs uh, in order to show that you don't know yes. what they say you owe. Yes, yes. And so they were hated mm -hmm. for their tendency to abuse their power for their own gain. Mm -hmm. And uh, and here he is. He finds himself wanting to take a look at this Jesus who was entering and passing through Jericho. And he sought to see who Jesus was in that third verse. But the text says that he could not. Uh, even though he had a desire to he still could not see him. There are folk today in the world in which we live. Mm. There are folk who have a curiosity about Christ, who want to see him, want to find out a little bit more about him, but there are crowds who are standing in their way, just as it was with Zacchaeus. Uh, he could not. But lo and behold, in spite of the mass amount of people who were in his way, um, he still was determined to see Jesus. Is there anybody here? Yes. Mm. Yes. yes, in spite of folk in your way. Mm. Mm. Crowds. I know sometimes you can determine whether or not a restaurant is good or not by whether it has a crowd, but not always that's the case. That's right. Sometimes crowds can be bothersome. Sometimes crowds can prevent you from getting something good. Come on, Pastor. Yes. Uh, uh, there was a time when when uh, when the uh, bride would get married and she would throw the uh, you know garter. And uh, the, the, the ladies and sometimes the brother would be trying to catch it mm -hmm. as a token, a sign that perhaps they would be next or something, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and the crowds would get in their way as they were trying to reach and grab for. 
Sometimes crowds uh, can uh, be good, but other times crowds uh, can be a nuisance. Yes, and, and in today's age in which we live, sometimes crowds will try to block folk from getting to Jesus. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. You got to be careful. Yes. Of the crowds. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus says, there'll be some who say, Lord, Lord, and he'll say in return, I never knew you. Mm -hmm. We got to be careful Ooh. of the crowd. Mm -hmm. Uh, if it if it was just left up to the fact of the crowds, Zacchaeus would not have seen Jesus that day. But there was something on the inside of Zacchaeus uh, that put a bit of inspiration within his life, uh, and he would say to himself, "I've got to get what I've come here for." So he would not be deterred by the crowd who was blocking his path, nor would he uh, be prevented by his own personal inadequacy. The text says he could not, uh, for he was short in stature. Uh, he was not tall enough to see over their shoulders. Yeah, so as they would be gathered around, uh, yes, and, and they were packing around Christ to the extent that those behind uh, could not get a close-up look. Uh, he had to deal with his own shortness that also stood in the way of him being able to see this Jesus that he had come to see. All right. uh, but he, in spite of his personal flaws and shortcomings, uh, he would find himself a way that he could get to Jesus. He found that it was just that important. And somebody here ought to remember and to know that it's just that importance to get into the presence of Jesus the Christ. Mm. Yes, uh, when we have uh, more month than month, yes, we'll make our way into the presence of Christ. Yes, when trouble is blocking our progress, we ought to make our way into the presence of Christ. Yes, when pain is racking our bodies, uh, yes, it ought to encourage and inspire us to make our way into the presence of Christ. Yes, uh, uh, when he and others uh, prevented him from getting what he had come for, he did some extra curricular activities to make up the difference. Sometimes you got to do a little more mm -hmm. if you want to get more. All right. Yes, uh, and, and so he, the, look at the fourth verse. He, he ran ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the, the crowd was surrounding Jesus, but he decided, uh, yes, that if he was to get what he had come for, uh, yes, he would do a little bit more. And so he decided to put on his track shoes, uh, and he ran ahead of the crowd. Mm. Knowing that Jesus would pass that way. Uh, we got to get a little excited yes, Lord. about seeing Jesus. Mm. I, I know there are a whole lot of folk who get excited on their way in. Um, we used to, before all this uh, pandemic come, we would go each year to see the uh, Clippers game. Mm. And, uh, and you see some interesting stuff down there. Uh, then it was held at the Staples Center, they didn't rename uh, and, and And you'd see fellas who would be dressed up, uh, all different kind of tennis shoes uh, to represent their pride in the team. Uh -huh. uh, they would have their faces painted uh, to represent how enthusiastic some would be, making a whole lot of noise to let it know what team they were for. And we have to have that kind of zeal about Jesus. Yes, we all not in with basketball and baseball. We all not in with our favorite NFL team. Uh, but we ought to have a desire like those who came to Philip. You remember in John 12 and 21, don't you, when they came to Philip, uh, uh, who was 
from Bethlehem, Bethlehem of Galilee. Yes, uh, and, and they would come saying to him these simple words, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Yes, they had personal determination and motivation. Yes, because they had heard about Jesus. And they knew that there was something about Jesus uh, that he was no ordinary man. Yes, uh, and, and when you discover that Jesus has the ability to do more, when Jesus has the ability to change lives, that he can change circumstances, uh, he can change, uh, yes, our downs and make them up, yes, it will inspire us as well to uh, get into his presence. He had heard about him, so he would become determined to the extent that he would run, exert himself, when worried about getting sweat. He had to see Jesus. And not only that, but he would run ahead, he would climb up a sycamore tree. I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't scared of getting sweaty, but he wasn't also scared of getting a little dirty. I done climbed a tree or two in my childhood. Yes, and it's hard to climb a tree without getting a little dirty. Uh, but it was all right with the kids because he was motivated by Jesus Christ. Wouldn't it be good if we see a lot more folk in society getting more motivated about Jesus Christ? I mean, we can see some great changes uh, in the morality of the, the landscape in which we live. Mm -hmm. If folk would get a little more excited about seeing Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, I mean, we see some stuff on the TV set. We see some amazing and, and interesting and crazy stuff. Yes, going on around us. Uh, 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 and, and, and my brothers and sisters, a lot of what goes on around us is because there has been an abandonment of, of, of an interest in Jesus. Yes, 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 it has. Yes, it has. But not so with Zacchaeus. My Lord. Yes, uh, he put some thought and as well as his energy. Um, he had predetermined the route that Jesus was on. All right. Um, and so he saw how Jesus was moving and, and, and the direction in which he was heading. And so he, he thought ahead and he went up the road so that he could be where Jesus would ultimately come. He couldn't do nothing about his height. He couldn't do much about the crowd, but he could get ahead of the crowd. Whenever you get a crowd blocking your progress, whenever you get some haters at work trying to keep you from getting your promotion, yes, you just run ahead. You find out where, where Jesus is going to be next. Yes, uh, I, I like that. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, if you want to get ahead in life, just find the way that Jesus is sending and, and you just ride that wave, uh, yes, into your purpose, into your destiny, your future. He just found where Jesus was headed. And he met him there. Yes, uh, and because he would find where Jesus was going and meet Jesus there, Yes, uh, he would ultimately change the outcome of his life. I mean, yes, there were folk who were professional fault finders. My late pastor, he had a whole message entitled professional fault finders. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's some folk who just feel like it's their job, their duty, and personal assignment from God uh, to, to find uh, a reason to, to trip up other folk. Mm. Yes. Uh, and, and, so, and, and, and so in spite of the crowd who was blocking his way, he get to Jesus. And guess what? He saw Jesus from that sycamore tree. 
Yes, he was able to look down and see the Savior. But guess what? That wasn't all. All right. Look at that fifth verse. <laughs> that sound material right yes, there. It mm. is. <laughs> when Jesus came to the place, the text says that he looked up and saw him. Yes. Uh, uh, and not only did Zacchaeus get to fulfill his dream of seeing Jesus, uh, yes, uh, Jesus saw him also. Mm. When you're going through it, you feel like you're in it all by yourself and nobody understands what you're going through. Yes, I want you to understand that Jesus sees you. Mm. Yes, he knows what you're going through. He knows your ups and downs. Uh, yes, he knows your health condition. Uh, yes. yes, Jesus sees you. Yes. Sometimes you 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 worry. Sometimes you worry because there's so many people who pressed around him. Uh, you remember that woman, don't you? Yes, yes with the issue of blood, uh, and she could not get to Jesus either because of the crowd. Mm -hmm. Yes, but she would go beneath the crowd. She would stretch out her hands and tap the hem of his garment. Jesus would then see her. Jesus said uh, to the Jesus would say to the disciples, "Who touched me?" And the disciples didn't get it yet. Yes, uh, the disciples would respond by saying, "What do you mean, who touched you?" There are a lot of folk who are pressed all around you. There's a lot of people touching you. Jesus said, "No, no, there, there's somebody who touched me in faith. Somebody with believing spirit." with a need in their lives. Yes, Lord. We need you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus says, somebody touched me. I'm not talking about the crowds who just pressing in to get a look. I'm talking about somebody who has an issue of blood. Somebody who's hurting. Somebody who's been from one doctor to the next without a cure, without a remedy in their life. Oh, yeah. Oh, bless somebody touched Jesus would not be satisfied until he let her know that he had seen her. And so it is with you and I, my brothers and sisters. God wants you to know that he sees you. Whatever it is you're going through this morning, whatever it is that you have to deal with, whatever you're faced with, yes, I, I want you to know that, that God can look beyond the crowd and he can identify your exact need in life. Yes, and he can make the difference for you. Yes, he, he, he saw him. Yes, uh, um, but he then uh, spoke to him. Catch this now. Zacchaeus is a tax collector, right? He's yes. uh, chief tax collector. He's over tax collectors. Uh, yes. Uh, and, and, and folk despised him and, and did not like him. Uh, but yet Jesus saw him and he spoke to him. Thank you, Lord. whole lot of folk would walk the other side of the street when they saw him coming. Yes, uh, and, and, and my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, uh, let's be real about it. Uh, there, there are some folk uh, who treat us the same way. Yes, uh, they, 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 they don't want to help us. They don't want to encourage us. They don't want to be a blessing to us. Uh, yes, they, they would hope that we would just disappear and flee off the scene if they had their way. Yes, uh, but in spite of him being a despised man, a hated man, uh, Jesus saw him uh, and then he spoke to him. And this is what he said to Zacchaeus. Uh, he said, Zacchaeus, he called him by name. Don't be confused. I don't want you to get mixed up. Yes, uh, um, I, 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 I've called some folk in a crowd sometimes. Uh, Yes, uh, and, and, and I was trying to get their attention, uh, yes, to come here, yes, uh, and, and then uh, you would get this reaction, uh, yes, uh, one would look at the other, and, and the other would look at somebody else, uh, and, and they start pointing at who, me, yes, uh, uh, and trying to figure out who it is that, that, that was wanted, yes, uh, but my brothers and sisters, Jesus made it very clear, yes, uh, he said, 
said Zacchaeus make haste and come down yes he saw him he spoke to him uh, he called him by name uh, yes uh, and he said uh, get in a hurry uh, I know that you already run uh, yes you exhausted yourself a bit and climbed a tree but I'm going to have you do a little bit more I, I want you to make haste and come down Yes. Yeah, it's when Jesus is calling you. Ooh. When God has a blessing with your name on it, uh, yes, you ought to make haste. Uh, don't you lag around? Don't you lie again? When God is trying to get your attention, when God is calling you by name, uh, when God is backing you, come here. Yes, we ought, we ought to run. We ought to uh, yeah, put on our sneakers and, and, and get into his presence quickly. Yes, I, uh, my daddy, my daddy uh, had a way about himself. Yes, uh, when we were growing up, uh, yes, he would call us by different names. Uh, yes, uh, but whenever he called you by your full name, first name, middle name, and last name, you all get up in a hurry and, and see just what it is that he wanted. Yes, you didn't want to play around when he called you by your whole name. Yes, uh, and, and my brothers and sisters, he would call Zacchaeus, uh, yes, and tell him, come and come down from there. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, uh, I, I must stay at your house. Uh, yes, uh, I, I, I'm coming to, to, to visit you. Uh, yes, Zacchaeus uh, thought it well just to get into a sycamore tree, uh, yes, and to glance down at Jesus. Uh, but Jesus would become his personal guest. His own residence. Yes, yes, when everybody else was frowning on him, when everybody else was saying he ain't no good, uh, yeah, there'll be some folk who will tell you that you ain't gonna be nothing. Uh, yeah, there'll be some folk who say, Daddy, your daddy wasn't nothing. And, and, and there'll be some folk, uh, yes, uh, who say you won't uh, be able to accomplish anything. Uh, Mother. Oh, but God. But oh, God. Yes, uh, God can look beyond your faults and see your needs. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Yes, uh, God will look beyond the faults of this tax collector. Yes, a, a robber of sorts. Uh, yes, white collar criminal. Uh, yes, uh, and, and he will look beyond his faults and see his needs. Uh, I, I'm coming to your house. Yes. Uh, uh, everybody don't come to your house. Yeah. And, and, and truth be told, you don't want everybody at your house. Well. But God says uh, that, that if you want what I got, I got to come where you live. Yeah. You, it's, it's not good enough for you to just come to the church house on Sunday morning uh, and visit me. It's not good enough for you to just uh, peer down from the sycamore tree at me. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, it's not good enough for you to just simply uh, do a drive-by, yes, relationship with me. Uh, he says, I'm coming to your house. Yo, well. Somebody remember Revelation 3 and 20, don't you? He says, behold, I stand at the door and, and not yes, uh, he's looking for somebody who will open up the door and let him in. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He says, I, I must stay at your house. Yes, sir. And, 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 and his response uh, was incredible. Yes, sir. He did not deny him. He did not turn him away. He didn't say, well, let me go and clean up first. Uh, yes, I got to get rid of some magazines. Uh, yes, sir. I, I, I got to clear off my liquor shelf. Uh, he said, no, you can't come right now. Uh, yes, sir. I, I got to get ready. It's in the sixth verse. Yes, uh, he made haste. He came down and he received him joyfully. joyfully. Yes, uh, he, he, when Jesus uh, gives you the invitation uh, to come into your house, uh, you will receive him joyfully. That's not always the case. Uh, yes, but it won't be so. 
Yes, uh, Jesus Christ has done just what he has done for Zacchaeus. He's done it for you and for me. Yes, he has. Mm. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Hallelujah. He's yes. given us an invitation now. Yes, to take up residence at our house. Yes, uh, and the question is, will we receive him joyfully or will we return him away? Yes, uh, in the course of doing prison ministry for 19 years, uh, yes, uh, I, I would go into some of the institutions and talk to uh, some of the inmates there, uh, and, and I would hear over and over again by some of the individuals, they would say the same thing, uh, when I get myself ready. Then, then, then I will receive him. Then I will allow him uh, in. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll accept him. Uh, and, and I'll tell each one the exact same thing. You can't get yourself ready. Mm. Yes, uh, for a holy God. Mm. Yes, you can't move enough stuff around. You can't rearrange the furniture enough uh, to get yourself ready for a holy God. Yes, uh, the only thing that you can do is let him in. Uh, yes, and he'll redecorate. Uh, yes, he's the best uh, home designer that you'll find on the market. Uh, let him in. Let him in. Yes. yes, he'll give you a new decor. He'll set things straight in, and he'll have you looking good. <laughs> if you just let him in. Yes, uh, and so that kids would let Jesus in. And, and, and my brothers and sisters, I, I, want you to, I want you to see this in the seventh verse. Because it's sure enough, as soon as you let Jesus in, there are going to be some naysayers. Mm. And as soon as you say yes to the Lord, yes, uh, there's going to be some folk, uh, yes, uh, who are going to find reason uh, to have fought against you. Yes, uh, you, you, you don't know who he is. Yes, uh, you don't know the dirt uh, that she did along the way. Yes, uh, you, you, you don't know. Uh, yes, uh, all the stuff that they stole. You don't know. Yes, uh, how they done, uh, yes, talk about folk along the way. You don't know them like I know them. Uh, Jesus, how are you going to go and uh, have dinner with, with them uh, as if there's some kind of a rule reversal, uh, yes, where they have become God, uh, yes, and relegated Jesus Christ to the kids' table. Mm. I mean, after all, you do know that God is omniscient, don't you? Yes, uh, and that simply means this, that he knows everything. Yes, everything that God doesn't know. And when God said that he was going to that kids' house, he already knew that he stole money from folk. Yes. yes. When God said that he was going to Zacchaeus' house, he already knew he was a tax collector. And when God saved you and I, he already knew the scandals in our closet, the scandals hanging out. God already knew it when he said, yes, come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. rest. Thank you. Yes, you uh, but it won't stop Satan. Yes, you yes uh, uh, and, and so they complain. Uh, they said he has gone to be guests with a man who is a sinner. Yes, he's not just a closet sinner, he is a known sinner. Uh, yes, he's known in the neighborhood uh, for sinning. Yes, uh, he's one of the chief sinners, uh, and yet God has gone to his house. Yes, yes. I, I hear God once again. I have not come, yes, uh, for the whole, but I have come, yes, for those who are in need of a physician. Yes, uh, God has come, uh, yes, to heal the broken. God has come uh, for the lost. Yes, uh, God wants to step in and change our lives for the better. Mm. Yes, uh, and, and so in spite of the naysayers, um, 
we see a representation of conversion coming. In that eighth verse. There's something changing on the inside of Zacchaeus. I mean, he, he was a rich man. He got his money uh, by exacting taxes and more than what was deserved from people. But now that he has met Jesus, something's changing in this man. He says, look, Lord. He says, I give half of my goods to the poor. And if I have taken anything from anybody by false accusation, I refuse. Store for food. That you, now I want you to understand you can't buy your way into heaven. <laughs> yes, I, but, but it is an indication that something's going on with this man's heart. Yes, God is doing something on the inside of him. Yes, God is working on him and he's bringing about a change in his life. One who loves money. Uh, Is, is working. Yes, I, I hear the old folks say, I looked at my hands and my hands look new. I looked at my feet and my feet did too. Yes, I, they were just trying to say God was doing something new on the inside of me. Yes, I, and listen, God would acknowledge his conversion. Here it is in that ninth verse. Listen, Yes, uh, God would say, yes, uh, what, what's going on in you is, is real, it's legitimate. Yes, I'm going to declare it right now over you, over your life. I'm going to declare it. He says, today salvation has come to this house. Don't be confused uh, by any other house. Uh, yes, not, I'm not talking about the disciples' house. Uh, I'm not talking about, uh, yes, Mary and, and Martha. I'm not talking about John. Uh, 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 but I'm talking about this house. Yes. This house. Yes. Zacchaeus' house. Yes, he would, he would share salvation. The Savior comes to town uh, and he allows, uh, yes, whosoever will, yes, to receive eternal life. He allows whosoever will to become his son, his daughter. Yes, uh, he allows us to be a king's kid. And he acknowledged salvation in his life. And God does that for you and for me. Yes. God would share with us the ability to inherit eternal life. All we must do is be thirsty enough to ask him for a drink of that living water mm. that we would never thirst again. Yes, all we have to do is be hungry enough uh, to say, bread of heaven, yes. feed me until I want no more. All we have to do is to seek him out and we'll find him. All we have to do is knock and he will open the door for us. We can get what we've come for. God stands willing and waiting. With arms outstretched, God wants to receive us unto himself. Zacchaeus may have not known Jesus when he climbed that tree, but it's certain that he knew him having come down from that tree. Yes. We thank God that he continues to extend invitations to you and to me. And so as we stand on our feet, door church is open yes. Yes. and I want to invite you right where you are if you don't know Jesus Christ to accept him as personal savior and if you know him and if you've been born again I just want to invite you to get a little closer yes, yes uh, Jesus said I must come to your house and God wants to come right where you are every day in your house, on your job, in your neighborhood, amongst your friends. God wants to be.
be right where you are. And so I want to invite you into the throne room of God, into the very presence of where Jesus hangs out. Doors of the church are open. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No. today, Lord, we pray your blessings upon every individual under the sound of my voice. <clears throat> Lord, we pray for those who are present and those who perhaps watching remotely, Lord, we pray. Lord, that if there's one who do not know you as Lord and Savior over their lives, Lord, that they would make a decision today to receive you into their house, even as Zacchaeus did. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.